Very good evening, dearest friends, and welcome into our dissipation of glamorous meditation. Um, just uh, let us be aware of that, uh, that now we are already in the moment of the sacred time of the full moon. And uh, we, we are going to have the programs related to full moon tomorrow. And then on Sunday, that's the day of the full moon but already one can say that three days before or two days before Tibetan is using different ways of um, pointing out the importance of the um, full moon times either having this five days process or uh, seven days process but today we are going to contemplating and concentrating upon very interesting glamour. This is a glamour which is, um, what would I say, like uh, it's so subtle and you, one needs to, actually it needs disciples and um, uh, spiritual people to really understand about this type of glamour. We are talking about, last uh, time we were talking about the clamor, the, I think it was about the mm, uh, fear of light. And now we are talking about the clamor, which is uh, caused by the revelation of light. And let us, um, we are going to read something from the, Esoteric psychology number two, and that comes, I have shortened it, but it is somewhere like uh, 473 and on, on there. So I am recommending all of you to then read from that. But now it comes a little bit shorter, or actually very much shorter version. So let us um, uh, realize this amazing that there is actually dangerous clamor which is related to, to that revelation of light or revelations of light. Let, let us recognize that it is the time of the full moon. So that is the time of increased light. And also this very peculiar increasing of light of the cosmic phenomena caused by this green comet which is said that uh, it comes 
around, was it that every 50,000 years, or was it 5,000, 500,000 years? Who remembers? If you can put that in the chat, who, know, who remembers the years, remembers the years. But anyway, it means a huge amount of time. And uh, this green comet is now passing through this area of the solar system. Also, we are under the Aquarian influence, and that's why all the groups are affected. All of this uh, increasing light, and that's why also the shadow will be always uh, stronger and darker. And now, uh, what Tibetan has said. The vastness of the subject of clamor is overwhelming, and it takes time for the aspirant to learn the rules whereby he can find his way out of the worlds of clamor. I seek here only to deal with the theme as it produces effects in the life of the man who has evoked a measure of light within himself. This has served to reveal the three worlds of lower force to him. This revelation in the early stages of oft deceives him and he becomes the victim of that which has been revealed. And every one of us, um, I think that we all know something about that danger, but uh, do we know how this uh, clamor is affecting in our communication with each other or thinking about um, the other disciples. If ever we have any criticism, deep criticism or um, neglecting, wanting to cut relationships with each other, this type of clamor is involved. So he knows also that he has released a measure of the higher light. That which is revealed to him is interpreted by him in terms of spiritual phenomena, instead of in terms of psych, psych, uh, physical phenomena. He regards it all as wonderful, revealing true and desirable. Because he has achieved integration and is able to function in the mind nature, because his orientation is good and right, because he is on the path of appropriation, and because he knows himself to be an aspirant and even disciple, that which the light reveals upon the astral plane, for instance, is naturally of a very high order. But so, Man can suffer from the revelations of light in the three worlds, particularly in the astral world, and is therefore really doing two things. One, he is remaining in a relatively static con condition as far as high, I'm sorry, as far as his higher progress is concerned. He is looking on at the bewildering kaleidoscope of the astral plane with interest and attention. He may not be active on the plane himself or consciously identify himself with it, but mentally and emotionally it is satisfying temporarily his interest. Holding his attention and arousing his curiosity, even if he remains at the same time critical, he is therefore wasting time and surrounding him continuously with new layers of thought forms. The result of his thought about what he is seeing or hearing. This is dangerous and should be brought to an end. Intelligent interest in the world of clamor and illusion is required of all wise aspirants and disciples, so that they may release themselves from this thraldom, uh, for otherwise it will never be understood and controlled. But a prolonged application to its life and complete encroachment in its phenomena is dangerous and imprisoning. Then two, the interest evolved in 
these desirable cases in such that the man, sorry, I have to a little bit do something here that I can see the text. So one becomes completely glamoured by it. Two, descends speaking symbolically to its level. Three, reacts, reacts sensitively to its phenomena and often with pleasure and delight. D, invokes the ancient faculties of clairvoyance and clear audience. E, becomes a lower psychic and accepts all that the lower psychic powers reveal. So these may be for us very somehow clear to understand, but also this, um, uh, the subtle part of it, that the, when we think about these thought forms, that they can attach within our aura. And then we are thinking, being in light, but yet we are under our own clamored light, astral light. So there's a lot to think about how this all affects. And when we think about now the group work, which is so, so, so important this time. We see everywhere, every day, all the time, these signs because of the shadow, because of the light, inner light increasing, the shadow becomes stronger. And everywhere we see these clamors um, hurting humanity to find the way of cooperation and brother and sisterhood. That's why we disciples, we, uh, the groups of uh, Christ, we, we should be very, very aware of that. Those dangers, which are very subtle dangers for us, that we could be more in use. And thank you, Francis, Francois, the, about the years. So it is a 50,000 year cycle for that comet. And comet is always something which is bringing new messages. It um, comes into our consciousness and in our vision when something is on the way, something new. In all times, it was always interpreted that it was bringing uh, the message of the dangers, which, which it does, because the uh, transition point had, had been reached. And that's why the um, solar system talks in visible ways in that phenomena. So this comet at the moment at the edge of the older cycle and also in the, at the edge of the ending of the forerunner, many important um, spiritual opportunities are going on. So we keep them in our minds. And again, the, let us a little bit align with our work today. We are trying as a group, make this rent a little bit bigger. The responsibility this time is laid upon the new group all world service to rent the veil of Maya. And this work, this uh, meditation written by Tibetan is about this. So also I'm going to uh, translate this when we go into the meditation part, I will translate also in Finnish. And um, if you want, um, I have been introducing about this using mudras, which are powerful um, 
symbolic uh, ways of speaking, all these great ones have their own mudras. And this is the mudra of the Buddha, walking Buddha, active mudra, which is said to be the mudra of um, abhaya, fearlessness. And also it is a um, kind of blessing mudra, the way how the great ones are working. They are working by a blessing. The glamour that we are working today is glamorous caused by the revelations of light. And just pause a little bit, uh, to try to make to yourself a little bit clearer what kind of uh, glamour we, we are talking. Because somehow it uh, sounds contradiction, doesn't it? But whenever there is a new thing learned, always there is at the same time the other part, the other point of the coin, the clamor which come upon us to, uh, to test us. So clamor is caused by the revelation of light. Tuon harhan parissa, joka on harhat, jotka syntyvät valon oivaltamisesta. And align now with with your circle of co-workers and triangle members, network of forces of enlightenment. Virittäydynyt kansatyöntekijöisi ja kolmio jäseniisi valaistumisen verkostoon ja sen voimiin. To construct a network of light, niin että voimme muodostaa valon, verkoston and service in every land ja palvelun kaikissa maissa. The preparatory stages, the naming of the group members followed by three minutes of silence. And when you hear the name of your brother or sister, just hold them dear in your heart and mind. Michael, Anna, Anne, Barbara, Bisi, Catherine, Catherine P, Ellen, François. Heike, Jane, Joanne, Karen, Kira, Marianne, 
Minamari, Rosita, Vivienne, William, Zenet, Guest, Antoya. And three minutes of silence. The protective formula. Suojauksen suojaava kaava. As these words are uttered, each group member makes the sign of the cross of divinity. Kun nämä sanat lausutaan, jokainen ryhmän jäsen tekee jumalallisen ristin. From forehead to the heart, from left eye to the right eye. Otsasta sydämeen ja vasemmasta silmästä oikeaan silmään. Now let us touch our forehead. Kosketamme otsaa. And 
would say, as a soul I work in the light, heart, and darkness cannot touch me, left eye, I take my stand within the light, right eye, I work and from that point I never move. The group has now the cross of divinity shining forth in front of every member. Ryhmässä loistaa jumalallisuuden risti jokaisen jäsenen edessä. Let us imagine that ja nähkäämme sen mielikuvassamme. The three preparatory stages, kolme valmistavaa vaihetta. Focus now with the dual light of matter, of etheric physical. Keskittäydy nyt aineen eteris-fyysiseen valoon. And mind of mental light in the chitta. Ja mielen mentaaliseen valoon. Valo, joka on chitta, chitassa, mielen aineessa. Meditate on soul contact. Mietiskelen sielukontaktia. Visualize and recognize the soul light. Visualisoi ja huomioi. Sielun valo. See the scent of the light upon the mental plane. Ja näet tuon valon laskeutuvan mentaaliselle tasolle. See the fusion of these two lesser lights with soul light, the light of reason in the mental body. Näet tuon kahden vähäisemmän valon yhteensulautuminen mentaalisessa kehossa sielun valoon. Let us say affirmation. 
The light is one, and in that light shall we see light. This is the light that turns the darkness into day. The formula Gava. Visualize the great searchlight, which is fusing all these two lesser lights with soul light, which we now have created. Nyt nää suuri valokeila, joka nyt on luotu. Turn its light upon the astral plane ja käännä se valo astralitasolle. Together we say, Radiance are we and power. We stand forever with our hands stretched out, linking the heavens and the earth, the inner world of meaning, and the subtle world of clamor. We reach into the light and bring it down to meet the need. We reach into the silent place and bring from thence the gift of understanding. Thus with the light we work and turn the darkness into day. Now we use the weapon of light. Nyt käytämme valon asetta. Turn towards the center where the will of God is known. Käänny kohti sitä keskusta, missä Jumalan tahto tunnetaan. And invoke spiritual will by using the antakarana. Ja kutsu henkistä tahtoa käyttäen antakaranaa. Sense the living interplay between the sacrifice petals. Tunne elävä vuorovaikutus uhrautumisen terälehtien. Synthesis petals, synthesin terälehtien. Atmic plane, atmisen tason of spiritual will. 
henkisen tahdon. And with monad. Ja monadin välillä. In your consciousness, be aware of your highest aspect of your being. Tietoisuudessa se ole tietoinen olemuksesi korkeimmasta olemuspuolesta. And let us pause a moment. Ja pysähdymme hetkeksi. Now use the beam we have generated. Ja nyt käytä tuota sädettä, jonka olemme juuri muodostaneet. And we say affirmation. Me sanomme affirmation. With power upon its beam, the light is focused on the goal. The glamour to be dissipated is glamorous used by the revelation of light caused by the revelation of light. Ja hävitettävä harha on ne harhat, jotka syntyvät valoon oivaltamisesta. We throw the beam, the light upon clamors caused by the revelations of light. Ja heitämme valon niiden harhojen ylle, jotka muodostuvat, syntyvät valon oivaltamisista. Visualize the light penetrating into the glamour. Visualisoi. Valo, joka läpäisee harhaan, producing its weakening and dissipation, saaden aikaan sen heikentymisen ja lopulta haehtumisen. The words of power are uttered to transform, ja voiman sanat lausutaan. The power of our united light prevents the appearance of the clamor caused by the revelations of light. Yhdistetty valomme voima estää harhojen, jotka muodostavat valon oivaltimisesta niiden ilmentymisen. The power of our united light negates the quality of the clamors caused by the revelation of light from affecting humanity. Yhdistyneen valomme voima tekee tyhjäksi harhan ja sen vaikutuksen ihmiskunnassa, joka tulee harhoista jotka muodostuvat valon oivaltamisesta.
the power of our united light destroys the life behind the clamor caused by the revelations of light. Yhdistyneen valomme voima hävittää harhan takana olevan elämän. We work for dissipating the clamors used caused by the revelations of light. Työskentelemme harhojen hävittämiseksi, jotka muodostuvat valon oivaltamisesta. We visualize the group standing within the will. Näemme ryhmän, joka seisoo taadon sisällä. Together, the protective cross of divinity, shining, shining forth through the group. Yhdessä suojaavan jumaluuden ristin loistajan läpi ryhmän. Visualizing the light, search light of dual light with the soul light. Visualisoiden valon. Kaksittaisen valon, sielun valon kanssa, penetrating into the clamor, caused by the revelation of light. Ja tunkeutuen harhaan, joka syntyy valon oivaltamisesta. And we will work now five minutes in silence. Ja työskentelemme viiden minuutin hiljaisuudessa. Seeing the clamor weakening and dissipating. Ja näemme kuinka harha heikkenee ja hajoaa.
visualize that the clamor has now weakened and dissipated. Näe kuinka harha on nyt heikentynyt ja haihtunut. We realize that the intensity of purpose has deepened. Oivallamme kuinka tarkoituksen intensi intensiivisyys on syventynyt. Whilst the work was seen proceeding, kun työskentelimme. And create invocation.
So let us now turn our attention from the astral plane. Käännämme nyt huomiomme pois astral tasolta. And refocus back upon the mental plane. Keskittäytyen uudelleen mentaalitasolle. The third light of the soul is shut off. Sielon valo on suljettu. Tuo kaksinainen valo. And also group third light. Ja myöskin ryhmän ryhmä valo. We visualize the clarity, clarity in thinking. We sound the long arm inaudibly, ja lausumme hiljaisesti pitkän omin. Visualizing the same time that work had been done. Näiden samalla, että työ on tehty. And it was successful. Ja että se oli menestyksekäs. Thank you, dear friends. Kiitämme taas kaikkia. Lots of love to everybody. And let us meet again. Tomorrow we have then two programs, 6.30 p.m. GMT. We have the Sacred Pentagram Full Moon Approach. And then um, at uh, 8 p.m. GMT, I think so, yes, there is the pre-Full Moon Meditation. So warmly welcome tomorrow and let us keep our hands together in alignment like in this image and let us make the work even more successful during the full moon time so now good night from finland ja hyviä öitä täältä etelästä Sunshine had those few summer days left us in a soft white eyed haze. It shone like gold. It shone like gold. But just as the moon, it shall stray. So Get up.
could stay gold. Wanted to 